You touched upon the limits of conventional, you know, GPUs and uh, CPUs. And how confident are you that there will not be like significant breakthroughs uh, in in that field? The question is to say, is quantum a threat for GPUs and CPUs? Uh, to 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 invert the question, and and the answer is yes, but not for the reason you might think, because we're not gonna. Um, we're not going to replace CPUs and GPUs. That's for sure. I mean, future of of computing is a is a hybrid mix. Just like GPUs did not replace CPUs, but the value, the margins moved from one to the other. The question is the question of marginal utility for the user. Imagine you have a large computing center with ten thousand GPUs and a hundred logical qubits. If you double the number of GPUs you gain linearly in terms of computing power with actually diminishing returns. If you double the number of uh, logical qubits, all of a sudden you have problems that were untractable that becomes tractable. So the utility, the marginal utility for the, the, the user is strongly in favor of the quantum path, which means that the margins, and so the money, the investment, the control, I mean, everything follows the margins, uh, will be on the, the quantum side. And this is why, in my opinion, players like NVIDIA are starting to uh, to move more aggressively into quantum, not because GPUs are going to be obsolete, they won't, but because they might lose their edge in, in margins.